it's torquey. It's fast. It sounds fantastic. It has launch control. And the styling is incredible. And it has been competitive with cars at much higher price points. Some consider it one of the greatest sports cars of all time. Many consider it the greatest American sports car of all time. Guys, we are finally today introducing my 2010 C6 Corvette Grand Sport. This thing is sick. I know the jean shorts and the New Balances gave it away to a lot of you guys, but I was surprised to see how many people couldn't guess based off of that video. But <laughs> don't worry guys, the New Balances and the Jorts have been returned. I'm not gonna ever wear them again. We're gonna change the stereotype for Corvette owners. These cars are iconic and they have held up against the test of time. They are still competitive with some of the highest performing cars available on the market. And you know, this one is 12 years old. 2010 but it seems brand new it's very well taken care of only 40 49,000 miles the interior is immaculate the paint is in fantastic shape uh, just probably do a little bit of a paint correction to get some of the swirls out but it is sealed and coated with something the water beads up and runs right off of it I love that um, but we're gonna get it really shined up and looking sharp again this is a grand sport essentially if you are new to Corvettes if you're here from uh, my Q50 content just checking out to see what we got uh, the Grand Sport is essentially a Z06 without the engine. So this is a 6.2 liter LS3. Uh, I should say that if you guys have been following along, especially on Instagram, you saw that I said uh, I LS swapped my Z. Well, I didn't LS swap the Z. I should have said I swapped the Z for an LS. So uh, the Z is now sitting outside. Corvette gets the garage. So back to what I was saying, essentially a Z06 without the engine. Uh, so it has the wider body than the base. It has the big brakes, it has a little bit different suspension. Uh, this is a six speed manual transmission. So another box that it checked for me. Um, and it has the dry sump system. So not a traditional oil pan, not a traditional oil fill where you dump it in the, in the valve cover. Uh, it actually has a dedicated oil tank. Essentially it is meant to prevent oil starvation when you are on an aggressive track day. If you're racing, for example, and the car is taking these high G, really you know, hard corners, uh, this ensures that the engine is continually getting oil even under those strenuous conditions. So it's really meant to, to race. I do like it, uh, you know, I 
never was a fan in the past because it's sort of a distraction, but when you're in a spirited driving situation and you don't want to be looking at your tack or your speedometer all the time, it's nice to have everything right there. And you can change it to different looks. Uh, so you get track mode, street mode, track mode one, and there's two again. This is my preference, so kind of cool. Kind of cool thing to have. Can't wait to do some zero to 60s in this thing too. The way it's geared, it, it'll pull almost to 55 miles an hour in first gear. It's pretty wild. So uh, it should be pretty quick if we can get some traction. Base model C6, I guess, is actually faster than these Grand Sports because they're, because of the styling, you know, the wider body and bigger tires, bigger wheels on the Grand Sport kind of slows it down in this great line. But this thing is really set up to do the twisty roads, right? And, and hit the, the course track days. Although a lot of people drive these at the drag strip, they, we, you see a lot of them at the drag strip. The bread and butter is the curvy roads, the uh, road courses and things of that nature. A lot of guys doing autocross with these things. I guess you can just keep it in first gear and autocross. Airbag light now somehow. Son of a gun. Let's take a look at this launch control. Push the button twice. Competitive driving. Now I should just mash the pedal to the floor. Be hell of a launch <laughs> holy shit these new rear tires stickier rear tires these are they're good tires and we got some michelins here 3 25 30 19s these are the pilot super sports but they're geez, they might have been on the car for five or six years already at this point so they're a little bit dry there's plenty of tread but they just no longer have the grip left to them so we got to replace them but even though we spin like crazy in this thing, you can feel the torque. Uh, it's a totally different world. It's, you know, something about the V8s. Uh, it is torquey from 1500 RPM and pulls hard all the way up to 55, 6000 RPM. It is insane how this car uh, just, it just pushes you back in your seat. And it's only like, what, 33, 3400 pounds, something like that. It, it, it is, it's power to weight ratio is, unbelievable i thought the little q50 you know i thought we had gotten that to a pretty quick and nimble kind of stage uh but this is a whole different animal you know in my previous video in our previous video i talked about getting something that's factory fast because of the way uh, the automotive world is moving this is what i was thinking about a lot of stuff coming up for this car though guys uh, i've already looked into some parts and some pieces some aero some performance stuff like i said i met somebody who does uh, a lot of engine builds specifically on these corvettes the ls engine so uh, we got some performance upgrades in the works also got a little sponsorship lined up i mean stuff is rolling for this car i'm, I'm pretty pumped uh, but we're not going to be done with the q content certainly not done with the 350z content it's got some stuff literally happening right now with that car um so good stuff good stuff coming but uh it really we want to we want to dedicate some time and some money to this thing just kind of get rolling with it right away